way to get knee to the belly. There's different ways to get knee to the belly. One very effective way. Rob, let me see. There's knee to the belly, which scores you points. But what you can also do is you can get like a knee staple all the way across the hip line and just basically ride it there. Okay. So a couple different ways to get knee to the belly that I personally like is this off of that far leg hook. Look, my arms switch. My left arm comes over the head and my right hand hooks the leg and I roll onto my hips and I go essentially north-south right here. Notice how there's a space right there. As I pull him in this way here and I try to kind of hook his near leg, he won't want that, he needs the space right here. And I can immediately go near the belly right here. I do this to you guys all the time and I stay here, 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 okay? I have a very good control here. I'm just being, so it's less pressure for, for him to take, okay? Also, what you can do is you can go for a complete like knee right here, which is you're stapling and keeping it flat. It's difficult for him to push you back into a half guard, okay? All right, and you have good stability here, okay? Because this foot is literally hooking on his near hip, and this knee is on this side. So from here, what I really want to think about doing is getting that underhook and getting to a mount. You can get the mount from just the standard knee to the belly kidney piercing, okay? But they're gonna put their hand on your knee, making it difficult to uh, slide it across. So here's option one here. Now for me to get this hand to this hip, I roll here, I hop up here, I lift, he starts pushing, okay? Maybe if I grab here and start pushing it down, this is fine. Get the underhook here. And mount. Because remember, your objective is to mount. Knee to the belly, two points, yeah. mount, four points, you pass three points. Nine points are that. Is that? Yeah. Got it. Another way to mount, look. I'm going slightly angled north-south. Cross face. Reverse cross, <clears throat> underhook, leg hook, everything at once. Rolling the hips, hooking the leg, shoulder, squeeze here, and I'm gonna slide up right on its face. You see that space right there? Without any hesitation, bring that knee across, and you can let go here, and just go here. They won't give you knee to the belly from here because you gotta go knee to the belly. This is not knee to the belly, but this is a very nice effective mount right here with an underhook and nice control here, rolling flat. So you can use this knee to the wedge to mount. <clears throat> Hook, pull it here and slide your right knee right in here. Okay, I'm get my right hand, let's go. And posture up right here, okay? Posture, he'll give it points here. He pushes it off. And flat here. Sneak through here. And now get this hand here. And keep it going through, through. See how my right foot stapling both knees together? I can very easily now mount him and roll him flat by putting his right shoulder back on the mount, like so. Okay. A little bit of a strategy. So, you guys can see here, left hand, roll, hit. He pushes it off, and roll him flat. Here. Literally, this arm right here is in the way. I want to set myself right on his arm, ribs here, with my hips back, right knee going right through here. Okay. As I posture up here, he can put his hand on the knee, whatever it may be, and I keep blocking that leg. My right hand will go under hook here, separate it. I can staple it just for control, walk it out this way. And then we go 
rolling flat. Go to your head this way. Now, the right hand has the underhook, but what I'm gonna start doing here is just controlling him and letting him feel that with his right hand, he can push this back into a half guard. But I let him only get a three quarter mount or three quarter guard. He'll pinch his knees right here. And you sit here and flatten them out. You're back in a half guard. You pull that foot through, you get three points for the pass, you get four points for the mount. From here I need to keep pulling this foot through. If I don't feel him pinching, then that right there is three and four. Okay? So you go here and here. He pushes that knee. And I just keep the knee pressure forward here. Yeah. Like keep pulling through the knee. Yes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep pulling that knee through. Try to get this underhook here. Okay. He's gonna pinch your knee. Yes. The more you keep pulling this knee through, the more he'll pinch his knees to keep this half guard so that he's twisted. Notice his lower body should be doing to that side, upper body flat. From here now, I have two options. I can begin to use this to open and wedge everything open here. There's a pass and there's the mount. You cannot do this because that's you putting your foot in the half guard. He has to do it. So from here, you kind of bring it back. He always uses the right hand to push it back. Yes, right there. But keep your knee down. Don't push yourself back in an actual half guard, especially with him with the moon hook. Fight for that under hook right here. And now you can move your head off to this side here. Lift your knee up. Okay. Lift your knee up. And now slide here. Or knee cut three point. Same thing here. Look for cook. There's your full point. And then again, he pushes that. You usually do that the whole way through, <laughs> all the way until it ends. But there's a certain point that you're gonna have enough points and just go for the submission when I tell you to. Because even if you mess it up, unless you get submitted, you're not gonna lose on point. Okay? So I want you guys to do this. Okay? Take position here. So instead of this as the mount, we're gonna do and you roar, hook. Lift and walk, walk off your hips and reach back. Right knee goes right here, right hand blocks. And now you just roll him like a fetus side is here. And then this foot here, and now just shift your weight and flatten him out. That will be your first for you who are competing. You can try to let him push your foot back in that three quarter bar. Ready? One, two, three. So you're gonna roll the hips on the left. 